Second grade, Miss Street here. Ready to super test. How many do I need to take away? Do you see it? Zero. How many do I need to take away? I gotta go back. How many do I need to take away? Oh, that one's harder. Good job. But I only want three. I'm gonna have to go back. I only want three. Six, good, let's do one more. Oh, I can see that, easy. Good job, all right guys. So today we're gonna finish up our um, telling time with the nearest five minutes. And um, I know that Miss Street has taken pretty much all week long on this, um, but I'm doing that because it's really, really, really important um, for this standard and knowing this in second grade and how it helps you with fractions and, and geometry and lots of things. So um, I've got my setup here. I did um, use some boxes now instead of um, what I had yesterday that fell over, <laughs> but it was okay. So yesterday we finished up um, with our 2.30 in the p.m. We had free time and went to rest, okay? Um, so let's see what happens next on our clock, on our, on our schedule. That is totally make-believe, totally, okay? So from 3 to 5 a.m. or p.m., play outside. Hmm, is it a.m. or p.m.? We're in the afternoon. See, here's noon. You see it? We're afternoon. So we know that is in the p.m. So let's show that um, digitally. So from three to five, I'm just going to put the ending time there. I'm going to put five. Can you tell me how many hours that is that we're spending outside? That's two hours. Not today, though, because it's raining. It reminds me of Ernest Goes to Camp. I don't know if you've ever watched any of the Ernest movies, but Ernest goes to camp, and he's um, a turtle bit him on the nose. He's got his turtle, and it bit him on the nose, and he's looking out the window, and he goes like this. Sure am glad it's raining. Um, I forgot. I'll watch it, and then I'll... Sure am glad it's raining. Awfully glad it's raining. Okay, I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna go forth. Okay. Anyway, so we're uh, gonna pretend that we're gonna play outside from three until five p.m. So that's two hours. So that means um, we went from two thirty to rest. So then we uh, took thirty minutes to do that. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. And now we can move our hour over to three. So three o'clock, and we know we're gonna spend two full hours. So to do that, Miss Street would do just two humongous hops here, um, cause that's 60 minutes is one hour, one. So that's three to four, and I'll do it again. Five, so we've moved two hours to play outside. And to show that on our analog clock, Miss Street is going to um, 
My hour hand goes towards the five, and my minute hand goes straight up to the twelve through the twelve. So that's five o'clock. So we're gonna um, really not go outside and play, but I mean, we if it wasn't raining, okay? Check check. Getting this schedule done. It's taking us three days to do one daily schedule. That's how hard telling time is. Okay, so at five p.m. We are going to eat, and I'm going to say this in honor of Andy Griffith, because if you can hear in the background, that's what Jesse's watching downstairs. He loves Andy Griffith. Um, we're going to eat our supper. That's what uh, Aunt B says. Andy, it's time for supper. <laughs> so is that a.m. or p.m.? We know we're afternoon, so that's p.m. Okay, so we're going to have supper at 5, and we've already got all that set up. Miss Street doesn't have to do anything. With that, and then what are we going to do? From 6 to 8 a.m. or p.m., we're going to have some good quality family time. That could be playing games. It could be uh, reading a book together. It could be watching TV together. Whatever. We're going to have some good family. We, we all got a lot of good family time going on right now, don't we? Yeah, we do. All right, a.m. or p.m.? Did you hear Jesse? He said PM. That's correct, Jesse. Because <laughs> it's in the afternoon. Okay. So we've spent one hour um, with supper. Hope you helped your mom clean up your the dishes mm -hmm. and the table. So six o'clock. Um, I know that's gonna be 60 minutes, so I'm just gonna hop it. And then I'm gonna move over to six. And we're going to do that until 8 o'clock. So how many hours is that? Six, seven, six to seven is one hour. Seven to eight is two hours. So good quality time with our family. Doing whatever your family enjoys to do. So that's two hours. So again, Miss Street's just going to do one ginormous hop because that's 60 minutes. I'll count by fives if you want me to, but we've done this so many times, we know. And then I'm going to do another full hop for two hours. So that's six to seven, seven to eight. And then on my analog clock, I'm just going to move my hour hand over to the eight o'clock. Okay. Now guess what's getting ready to happen? Yeah, it's what you don't like to do, but you need to do it. Okay. And that is... Take a bath or a shower. Do this daily. Miss Street enjoys a good shower twice a day. All right, a.m. or p.m. Remember, we've had supper or supper. Miss Street's just doing Aunt B from Andy Griffith. We've had supper. We've had family time after supper. So do you think we're going to take a bath in the a.m. or p.m.? Yes, it can be a bird bath, too. That's okay. Oh, you say p.m. That's right, because we're in afternoon. Now, about this time, sort of, um, that the time changed, this is about where it starts to get a little bit dark outside. It starts this, even though the sun has already um, went down, um, set, then the sun has set, but still, we still have a little bit of light outside. So it's not dark outside yet, but this is where it starts getting that way, okay? So eight, we're taking a bath. Then what are we gonna do? Hallelujah, Miss Street is so excited to be at this one. 8.30 a.m. or p.m. to 8 a.m. or p.m. We're gonna snooze, we're gonna go to bed. Now again, this is a make-believe schedule. Children, Miss Street's not telling you you have to go to bed at 8.30, even though I'm sure your parents <laughs> want you to, or you know, whatever. So. At 8.30, we just, at 8 o'clock, we just had a bath, okay? At 8.30, is that a.m. or p.m., we're going to go to bed. That's right. We're going to do that in the p.m. because we're still in the afternoon, right? So, at eight, we're still in the 8 o'clock hour, um, but we're half past the 8. So, Miss Street is going to show this analog. Remember, we know it's... Half past, the hour hand goes between um, the 
two numbers and straight through the six. That's really crooked, but it's okay. All right. So then I'm going to show half pass on my number line. And you guys know this. Mr. Street's not even going to count my fives anymore. I'm just going to go straight to the what? Six. Because we know that six is 30 minutes and it's half pass. Okay. So then on our digital time two, that's three tens. That's three 10 minutes uh, section. So I'm going to show you that. Ready? I'm going to show you. So that's 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes. So that's 10 minutes three times. Just want to throw it three tens, none left over. Okay. 830. Now listen, at 830, we're going to go to bed in the PM. Are we going to wake up in the 8 a.m. or p.m.? Hmm. A.m. or p.m.? We're going to wake up 8 a.m. So this is going to be a humongous jump. Okay? So watch me street. So here we have went to bed from 8.30. Um, we know there's 30 minutes to get us to 9 p.m. Okay? Then we're going to sleep. Can you see? You see that? We're going to sleep. So here's 9 to 10 p.m., 10 to 11 p.m., 11 to 12. And guess what happens right here? Do you remember? Let me see. Bring my box up. Hope I don't drop it. It turned 12 a.m. That's the same as midnight or in the middle of the night, early in the morning. That is in the a.m. True story. And it's really, 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 really dark outside unless the moon is out. Okay. So we went to 9 o'clock, 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock. So here we are at 12. We go from 12 to 1, 1 to 2 a.m. We're snoozing 2 to 3 a.m. That right here is where Brian wakes Miss Street up snoring. Mm -hmm. 3 to 4 a.m., 4 to 5 a.m., 5 to 6 a.m. The street's just doing super hops, okay? Um, 6 to 7 a.m. and 7 to 8 a.m. And we've completed one full day. <gasps> that was intense, okay? That was really intense. So, second graders, tomorrow I'm really excited because we're going to make some connections with our fractions, and I'm gonna show you a really cool game you can play with your family. It's called the Circuit Number Line Game. And um, I'm gonna show you how to make it and play it tomorrow, okay? So I'll see you guys tomorrow. I hope you have a great rainy day. Just try to relax and stay chilled. Watch a movie or play a game. Just, it's gonna be great. I hope you guys have the best day ever.